Uh, first of all, I suppose it's a bit curious to hear the Labour Party, a party traditionally known for wanting a, a larger state, more spending and potentially, yes, higher taxes, criticise a tax move. Have the, both these parties sort of changed clothes? Well, I think that's a characterisation which it really isn't in fact true. What the Labour Party wants is a high growth economy. And in the past 12 years, we've had a low growth economy. And by a high growth economy, you get a bigger portion, a bigger tax base if, if you want. So on that, people tend to pay less tax because of a higher uh, economic growth. We've had 12 years of austerity, which hasn't helped. There's been lack of investment in the public and the private sector. That feeds into the broad general, if you want, the macroeconomic situation. So it isn't just about now. It's, it's how we got here in the first place. And just one other point. Remember, we bailed out the banks to the tune of £1.3 trillion in one fashion or another, with loans, guarantees, a significant part of that West is still in, in public ownership. So if we can do it in that situation, we can. The worst health crisis that anybody can remember has cost £400 billion. It's going to last for years. And the government have got to have a plan, not just the next year or two years, to get it out of that situation overlaid with the cost of living crisis as well. So your solution to this particular problem of funding catch-up, NHS care, of funding social care in the short term would be to increase borrowing in the hope that there'd be more growth and then the tax receipts would rise naturally without the need for tax rises in the medium to long term. Well, I mean, it's part of it, but I think it's got to be part of a, a solution that this fixation that the £400 billion pounds that we've, in a sense, spent on COVID is, oh, you know, it's got to come to an end immediately the sooner as we get, get rid of it, the, the, the quicker. Well, our lesson from austerity from 2010 to now is that you don't rush into those sorts of things because it is counterproductive. So it isn't simply a question of saying, oh, let's just borrow more. It's a question of having a plan over a longer period of time to withdraw from that. Now, what we found with the government, it virtually missed all its fiscal targets. It's virtually missed every time it says we want to get borrowing down. It never hit the targets. I, I can't remember how many George Osborne had. I can't remember how many Philip Hammond had. Rishi Sunak's most probably the same. It's not about the immediacy of trying to sort this problem out. It's having a medium and long term plan, which includes economic growth within the, the economy more broadly. And as I said, investment in the economy. That's how we're going to solve this problem, not these quick fixes. I suppose what the concern